Hi everyone. So now we will learn that how we can call API with the delete method in React Native. In last part, we just made a list of the users with the two buttons, delete and update button. So in this part, once user will just click on the delete button, user will press the delete button, the current user should be delete from the uh, UI as well as from the database. That functionality we will make in this video. All right. For example, let's say we just uh, press the button for Bruce, then Bruce should remove from the UI as well as should delete from the API also. For that, what we need to do? Firstly, we will make a function to call API. After that, we will write some code to delete API, uh, delete data with the API and uh, that API will delete the data only from the database, not from the UI. So what we need to do? We have to call. Uh, get users API again so that the refreshed list can render again and uh, the user should should be removed automatically automatically from this list all right so how we can do that now let's uh, just jump on the code so this is our app.js file so firstly I am creating a function let's say my constant name is delete user you can just create any name you can make any name to this function I'm just making a delete user and this function will be a sync function right and uh, again we can just uh, take a constant there and uh, the constant we need a url there right or better to be you can just copy the same url from there now you can ask one thing so can we define uh, the two constant with the same name like user if they are on the uh, this top level or uh, you can say that uh, they are on the global level inside the class or inside your project that time you cannot create uh, the constant same constant with the same name but if you are creating the constant inside the different different function then that will perfectly work fine right one more thing that you can do you can just create a common functional function like this and you can keep uh, the outside from your uh, component or class that will also work but uh, let it be just uh, create a two different constant in the function itself right because i don't want to just uh, put some complex code there i just want to make it as simple as possible so that you can understand it right uh, even beginner can easily understand it after that we have to take a result and uh, again we can just simply call a fetch api method inside there we have to put the url and in a second parameter we have to provide the method name so there we are using delete method like this and that's all we have to put the await keyword before the fetch and i am just overloading this uh, uh, result because currently this is in the read stream format so i have to convert in the json format and now this is converted and at last we can check that if result is there if result is there then uh, we can just just show a console or data like uh, user has deleted or something right and let me just open the db.json file also currently you can see that these are the users sam at the last sunny uh, batman and all right you can see that okay perfect so now we have to call this function uh, on the delete button right so i am just creating a on press event and we can call this function but now you may have one valid question like how this code will get to know we are pressing the delete button for which user right because we are not passing id or name or anything then how we can do that you are right there we have to pass the id so how we can pass this id to the function just create a arrow function like this and then call this function with the parameter perfect now just simply put there item dot id because in item we have the all properties of that object here you can see that name age email and id right and some of them we are using there uh, for example we are just using the name and age and i just put their id so that we can delete the user on the behalf of id perfect so now we have to just check are we are getting this id properly or not right so for that i am just putting the id there and let me just warn it once id so let's check uh, i am just clicking on the sun so if i'm just pressing over there you can see that id is 8 so how we'll get to know that sunny id is 8 you can check in the db.json file here you can see that for batman id is 9 so let me just press over the batman here we go 9 
and for Peter the ID should be uh, one. So I'm just pre pressing over the Peter, and here we are getting ID one. Perfectly working fine. Great. So the next thing, uh, we have to pass this ID to the URL also, right? Uh, how we can do that? For that, just use simply URL. I will just let you know how you can do that. You can use backticks dollar URL after that slash and there you can simply put that ID and now let's see what URL we are actually getting properly. Let me just uh, click over the sunny and here you can see that we are getting the complete URL with the user ID 8 and the, uh, sunny have the ID 8. Perfect. So just copy this from there. Uh, you can copy this like this. And we can pass directly there. Perfect. All right. So uh, now, if we will just click over there, the user should delete from the API, not from the UI. Just uh, be sure about that. So I am just deleting the Bruce from there. So I am clicking the Bruce on there. User is deleted. That means the every condition is just just getting passed. And let's see, do we have the user uh, uh, Bruce here? Right? Do we have the Bruce here? No. We have the Bhaskar, Batman, Anil, Sunny, everything. But we don't have the Bruce here. But why this is not deleted from the UI? Because as I told you, this API is not deleting uh, this data from that state. Because all data, all this list data has in the data state. We have just updated there. So this is just deleting from the API side. Then how we can just check that uh, this user is deleted or not? You can refresh it once. So now let's see. Do we have Bruce there? Let's wait for a moment. There is a no Bruce. Perfect. Then now the question is how we can re-render it automatically? Just call this function because this function is get, just getting called on that use effect, right? So we can again call this function with the same way once user is deleted, right? So let me just copy this from there and paste in there. Now, once data is usually deleted, this API, this API will call again and the new refresh data will be set in the state and everything will work fine. So let me just try to delete Batman from there. Here we go. Bhaskar from there. Here we go. Anil. Here we go. Everything is working fine, right? So that's all for this part. In next part, I'll tell you that how we can update the user. Not actually in the next part. In next part, we will just uh, pop up a dialog box there. And we will pass the ID and some data from this component to the dialog box. And then we will update this data uh, slowly, right? So that's all for this part. I hope you enjoyed this, that video. And I'll request you to please subscribe my channel, like this video, and share your feedback in the comment section. Thank you, guys.